Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. So when the game starts out, you're going to have a die down here at the bottom. And what he's going to represent is your troops. And what you're going to have here is how many starting, you'll see a big S, how many starting troops that you start out with or things that you may start out with. And you'll have a regular specialist for your color that you're using. There's four colors in the game. And these will be soldiers that you can get during the game. And you will spend stars to get these. Here's the number of stars it requires to buy it. Then it will give you an ongoing benefit. Now, these will be considered soldiers. So when soldiers die... You could spin these if you get into a pinch. Uh, sometimes you'll be forced to spin these and, and kill them off, but they each have different powers that they will allow you to do. Getting these early in the game is fairly important because this is how you're going to get better at it. Although the setup instructions do not tell you, you will start the game out with two blue, two white, and two red dice, which you will then be rolling in a form of Yahtzee. Each of the dice have one of six possible scenarios on it. One soldier, a tool, a courage, a skull, which cancels another one, a star, or two soldiers. The two soldiers and the one soldier are pretty simple. These are going to be your life points in the game. The skull, like I said before, will cancel another die. The courage is how you're going to be moving up and progressing on the board. The tools, these will be kind of like a set collection. You're going to get a bunch of these on a turn because they're worth more points to buy items during the game. And the last one will be the stars, which you will use to recruit different soldiers with particular powers on them. The way the game plays is you will take your dice and you will play Yahtzee. So you will roll your dice out and then you have to keep two of them. So let's say we want to keep these soldiers and then we would roll the rest. You get, now maybe maybe I want to keep another one. And that, on your third roll, that is the last one. So here's a skull, I'd have to cancel something out. You will be keeping track of what you earn, whether it's soldiers, courage, tools, or stars on this handy dandy little turnstile that you will have. That's how you'll keep track of it. When you want to, if you get, say, four stars and you want to utilize them, you simply, you know, knock it down to maybe you spend three, you have one left over, and you will purchase the card that you want. What you want to do is take your army and have him progress all the way up into the bunker, take the last casualties that you'll take, and you'll win the game. Now how you move up is you'll see courage tokens that will be required to move up here. One, two, three, and four on this map. If I wanted to move up here at the end of my turn, I would have to spend one courage to do so. Two to cross this line, two to cross this line, and so on and so on. So let me talk about how a turn will go. You'll play Yahtzee with the dice, get whatever resources that you want. You can use those resources. Now, if you get three of a kind in red, white, and blue, you'll get a bonus. And then you'll be able to buy your items, either get the items or vehicles or people upgrades that you want. Then at the end of the turn, you will make a decision to move or not. Wherever this number is, where you are at, will be how many casualties you'll lose. And as you can tell, these numbers get higher and higher as the game progresses. Now, there are a few other things going on in this game. Let's talk about those. So there are a few other things going on on these boards. So let's talk about those really quickly. This defense here on each spot will be how many casualties that you take. If it's black, it means you can only stay there one round. If it's white, you can stay there up to the fourth round and you'd have to move. You have some things that will kill off a certain one. You can only move here if you have a corporal and you will get a bonus of one tool when you're here. Now here, this tells you you can roll six die, but here you only get to roll five. You have a plus one die six. You have some landmines going off that when you cross them, you have to roll a dice and take some more damage. You have machine gun fire, this red spot, that will require you to roll a six-sided die and take some more damage. So these boards have quite a few things going on in the background. Every board that comes with the game is going to be double-sided. And as you can tell, they kind of look different, but although they play similar, they may have different icons. Like right here, you cannot get any tools here, although you can spend your tools, which are one time only uses. So there's little different icons. You got to familiar yourself with it. Each one in the rule book may have a different rule set set up or cards that are available. But as you can see, they all historically speaking represent different battles and, and you have different paths you can go up and different things that may happen. Uh, here's two bunkers on this one on each side. You don't want to get stuck here in the middle. When you're moving, you always have to move forward or to the side. You can't move back to a position that you've already been in. So you do get... Um, 
So you do get eight different maps. You can see they're laid out differently and have different little aspects to them. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing games.